Okay, next up I'm going to buff the aluminum top rail that runs along the top of the gunnel. Um, got a couple different things here that's been sitting in my shed for a little while, but um, yeah, I'm just going to go at it maybe with some slight sandpaper first, then uh, and then just play around with all these you know, this buffing tool I've had for a long time and this aluminum polishing kit and uh, so on. So yeah, I'll keep you posted. All right, just spent a very long time buffing this aluminum rail the best I could. Uh, it's, it's far from perfect, but it is literally a hundred times better than it looks before. Um, again, I could just spend, it, it seems like the more time you spend on it, the better it looks, but I spent about two days, and uh, this is as good as I can get it. Maybe there's better buffing tools I could use, but um, I'm pretty happy with the results. I don't, I don't think I really need to get it any shinier than this. But yeah, I mean, this is this is what I used here. Uh, I had all sorts of tools. Um, I was kind of an idiot and started out with these, and then later on found out that these denser, coarser bits that I can just put on a drill, they... Uh, they do a lot more cleaning. I, you know, if I was going to do this all over, I'd start with these guys, work to here, then here, and maybe here, and then something like this. This did a lot of cleaning right here. You can tell how, how black it is. Um, and then work yourself into like the finest, final buffing polish. But yeah, you're supposed to start with this cleaner, I guess it's the grittier, coarser cleaner, and then the brown stuff, and then finish on the white stuff. And that's what I did. I just, it, uh, you know, it looks good. You can't see yourself in it, but again, it, it cleaned it all up, and uh, I'm pretty happy with the results. Next, we're going to sand this uh, wood transom. Uh, I think I'm going to start out with like a 60 grit and then kind of work my way up to 100 and then 150 and maybe even something finer. Um, I can't decide if I'm going to stain it or just put a clear finish on it. I'll have to see what it looks like once I get it cleaned up. But I'm going to do this piece and this piece right here. I'm going to use this electric sander. So I'll keep you posted. Okay, I finished sanding this uh, piece of wood. Uh, I just uh, basically went at it for you know 45 minutes or so. Got it relatively smooth. I'm gonna. I had both of these things sitting in the shed, I, and I'm gonna stain it with uh, this wood finish. Hako bean is the color. Uh, but yeah, I, th I think it'll look pretty good. I just did a little test spot and they look fine. Uh, and then I also had this sitting in the shed. There might be a better product, something like an epoxy, uh, to go over the wood. But uh, I have this, so I think I'm just going to put you know four or five coats of this uh, urethane on, um, just to help protect it from the weather. Uh, it says indoor outdoor I you know I don't know how well it holds up but uh 
hopefully it'll uh, protect the wood and prevent it from splintering and taking on uh, any additional water. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right. So I stained this board and then put, I think I put six coats of this polyurethane on it. Um, it's super shiny, probably shinier than I wanted it, but it uh, looks a lot better. I, overall, I guess I'm pretty happy with the results. Another thing I did was I went online and I found this, um, this company that makes these little metal placards for really cheap. I think I got this thing, it was like nine bucks. Uh, not another couple dollars for shipping. Uh, again, I, I'm certainly not vouching for the, uh, the quality of it. Uh, might not even last that long. But uh, the existing uh, metal placard was in really bad condition. It was barely legible, so I figured I'd uh, you know, get it replaced before I lost all that data completely. So yeah, we'll see how it holds up. Um, if it fades or comes off or whatever, uh, I'll probably just you know buy another one, maybe a better one if it fades too fast. But yeah, I'll probably it, it, there was a adhesive for it, and I'm not even sure it's real metal. I think it's probably plastic. It just looks like metal. And uh, I'll put some screws on each corner, make it hopefully uh, stay on there a little bit longer. But yeah, this is it. This is the. This is as far as I'm going to take this transom. This side looks pretty good too. This is really thin, but I don't think it really needs to be too thick. But yeah, there it is.